Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Luke Who's Talking. It's a question and answer video that I release every Thursday. So make sure you drop your question down below. If you don't ask your questions, I won't be able to keep this series going. So let's get into it. Philip Evans asks, Hi Luke, with the amount of equipment and gadgets in the van, does your normal insurance cover this? Or do you need separate content insurance? Hope you and the wife are staying safe. Cheers, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, we're all safe and well. Thank you very much. Insurance. Now, I don't live in my van yet. So that is something we are going to be looking into soon. I do have, t uh, obviously the van is insured to drive on the road and it's insured for social, domestic, business, commuting, you know, all that stuff because I use it for work. I've also got a tool cover, uh, which covers all the tools. So if the van gets broken into and all the stuff's nicked, it is all covered. It'll be more of a pain than anything. But yeah, so the tools are all covered and everything. So yeah, when we move into the van, that is a question that we are going to bring up some insurance companies and double check that we are covered for living in the van. Um, but yeah, it is, it is worrying. I'm constantly worried about this van now. I've, I'm done parking it on the road. I'm parking it on my driveway, even though it's a little bit in, in, inconsiderate for all my neighbors, but because it's such a big van and everyone has to walk by my van to get into the flat, but no one has said anything yet. Um, we're friendly with all the neighbours, so it's not ideal parking it on the driveway, but I just, I'm just i so paranoid about it now. The more money you put into a van, the more time you spend in a van, the more adventures you've, you know, <laughs> the more trips you have in the van. Each day goes on, this van gets more valuable to me. So it's, I'm constantly worried about it. My wife says, why would you have something that you, you're constantly worried about? <laughs> I mean, it's... You know, it's my hobby, it's my pride and joy, it's it's a knackered old van now, but it's still, it's, I love it. Anyway, so yeah, insurance, yeah, we are going to be looking into that soon. Thanks, Phil, for your question. Van on Tour has asked, what have you learned from designing and using your own van interior, and what would you do different next time? Okay, so because I have to work out the back of this van, my bed is really high. I would build the bed a little bit lower next time. Um... Yeah, and if I don't have to use the van for work, then I'll build it a little bit lower. It's still fine, but it's just not as comfy as it would be if it was a little, a little bit lower. I really like this layout. I really like my layout. I think it's perfect. I like having the sofa there so you can sit on it and look out the big sliding door at all the views. I like the kitchen there because when, ki uh, when you're cooking or washing up, you can look out the door at the views. The views are always at the side, of, you know, where the side door is, so yeah. Having things that face that way, like the sofa and the kitchen. I really like the layout. The bed is fixed and just always made. So I just jump on the bed and go to sleep instantly. I love this layout. I think I, I don't think I'll do anything differently. I would like to challenge myself one day and build a shower, toilet room. I'd like to do that one day, but yeah, I really like my layout. What is the length of your IV coat? Um, I think it's about it's seven meters. I think it's about seven meters from front to back, and probably five meters from the from the bulkhead back, something like that. I haven't measured it for for a long time. I can't really remember. Very good question here from Claire Starkey. Thank you again for another question, Claire. By the way, if you can see all this rubbish down here, I'm sorry. She's been working on the van and and working today. And she, yeah, anyway, sorry, Claire's question. So question, how did your friends and family react to you both wanting to move into the van full time? Well, that is a very good question because there is still a huge amount of stigma about moving into vans and living in vans. And a lot of people have been like, in your van? You're gonna live in your van? Really? So yeah, the usual questions, what about toilet? What about shower? Where, where do you park? Where are you going to stay? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of questions from people. Uh, <clears throat> my family are instantly more acceptive of it, I think, because they've all, most of them have got camp, camper vans and we've always been camping and things. I think Becca's parents, they're not really into camping as much as my family are, but they are supportive of us saving money and they are supportive of us aiming to get a mortgage. So... Uh, it's a means to an end. Moving into the van will be a means to save money and get the mortgage, which is, you know, which is 
which means security for my wife and I, which in turn, you know, make, uh, eases the minds of my in-laws. So uh, families are fine with it now, although I did explain it to my auntie the other day and she was like, you're moving into your van? But yeah, a lot of people, there's a lot of stigma around it, but yeah, I think nearly all of them, I think everybody is quite supportive of it, in fact. Horst, thanks, Horst. He said, you always had a guitar in your van, but you never seen, we've never seen you playing it. Yeah, I didn't, I don't really like playing on camera. I used to be in a band, I mentioned in last week's video, and I was, I got, it took me a few years of getting confidence up to play in front of the pub, you know, in front of a crowd, but uh, yeah, playing on camera is a little different, I think. But yeah, there is a little snippet of me playing uh, guitar when I took the van to... Wales, it was in Wales and we was on our Scotland trip and there's a little bit of me playing guitar. Okay, Paul Rowson, Rowson, I'm sorry if I've pronounced it wrong. Hi Luke, uh, he's, he's, asked, uh, he's asked a question about the awning. How's your awning? Uh, thinking of doing the same as you did. Now I don't know whether you mean um, the way I fitted it, but the way I fitted this awning is amazing. And if, for those that haven't seen, I'll put a card up here for the awning installation video if you want to go and have a look at that. My friend Darren and I fitted the awning. We used riv nuts, pop rivets, and Sikaflex because we didn't want to rip off the wall in here to, to bolt it to put a nut on the inside of the bolts. Yeah, pop rivets, riv nuts, and Sikaflex, and it is solid. It's just not going anywhere. And the awning is fantastic. I haven't had it out for a long time. Had it out the other day, um, sat on the driveway. But uh, yeah, I love the awning. I just can't wait to be able to go places and get it out and sit under the awning and anyway but yeah definitely i would advise, advise it oh that moment when someone walks past oh wait i've got to get over this right my neighbors they know i uh i do youtube videos because st stickers are all over the van anyway max reynolds has asked is there anything i would change on my van little bits um yeah so i would i would um i can't wait to start again I can't wait to start again in a different van. So thanks, Max, for your question. Yeah, so at the, in, during the insulation stage, oh, I can't wait to start again. I'd be a little bit more pla forward planning. Uh, so I'd run some wires. I would also, from the start, be weight conscious of things you're, you know, things you're putting into the van. So for instance, my floor, I just use really heavy 15 mil ply. For instance, you don't need 15 mil ply for the flooring. So I would start doing a whole conversion thinking about weight i didn't it wasn't until this van was nearly complete layout wise that i started to th worry about the weight i think i didn't really i didn't realize that they don't have that much payload so uh yeah from the beginning i would think about weight and just try and cut corners and do things to save weight like, i would still use the thick cladding on the walls and ceiling but all the furniture and anything else i would think about weight and use lightweight materials other than that, Max, I'd have to have a think about it. And, but I think not a lot else. Sharon, thank you for your question, Sharon. What, is, what so far has been your favourite place to wild camp? Well, Scotland. It's, it's amazing. My favourite place is is northwest of Scotland. I've I've said this a lot, but I, you know I did I do love Spain. I've always got a special place in my heart for Spain. So southeast of Spain, anywhere on the coast down there is just I love it. I love that. But yeah, going to Snowdonia recently with, with my wife. There was a couple of killer park ups that we found, and there was nobody there. I can't wait to go back to Scotland. Auto Spark, uh, how do you make? Here's a question for you. Is there any chance you could do a talk about your jet wash business? i.e. your setup and what chems you use and equipment. I have thought about doing this. A lot of people ask me to make a video of my work, um, you know, show how I make money and how I'm going to be making money while living in the van as well. I think I will do that. I'm probably in the process of upgrading all my work equipment, so I'm probably going to wait a little bit longer, I think. Cozy2 Living Off Grid has asked, Hi Luke, where did you get the curtains, mate? I assume you're talking about my curtains on this on this window and on this window they were actually made for me my mother-in-law made them for me well between my wife and my mother-in-law they made the curtains for me and i'll put a card up the top here you can click on that card and go and watch them being made and fitted 
But yeah, my wife surprised me with the fabric. She knows I like the old VW split screen cabs. So uh, yeah, that's what they are. And I think they're really cool. I really like them. But Max also said, Luke, I didn't realise you played in a band. I do and I played the drums. Yeah, I, I mean, I used to. I haven't played for years now. So my yeah, Max, my first band, I was a drummer in... Uh, it was a kind of an old 60s... I think 60s, 70s covers band. Yeah, and I, I, I dram, I drummed in that band for a little while. The band kind of broke up anyway, but yeah, I left and then a couple a year later, started another band where I was uh, a guitarist, and I'm not quite good enough to be uh, a lead guitarist. So I was ma I was mainly rhythm guitarist, a few solos, and back in singing, and I sung a few songs as well. But yeah, I'd I'd like to get back into it one day, but the the whole van life. YouTube thing has you know swamped any other hobbies of mine all right I'll leave the video there that's probably about 10 minutes I'm going to keep these videos short and sweet but remember put any questions down below ask me anything you like without your questions I can't keep this series going so yeah thank you very much and subscribe if you haven't I'll see you in the next video bye bye